The weather in our country is making news tonight just in terms of sheer confusion. Depending on where you live, you may already know winter has arrived in places that are not used to seeing it. While it's late or a no-show entirely in a lot of places that should be feeling it already. Weather Channel meteorologist Mike Seidel is in Minneapolis tonight and look what they got over the weekend. Hey Mike, good evening. <laughs> Hey, good evening, Brian. Yesterday they picked up 10 and a half inches of snow, officially ending the snow drought here in the Twin Cities. That wiped out almost the entire deficit for the season. It was also their fourth biggest December snowstorm. Other records were set in nearby St. Paul and over in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Meanwhile, in western Minnesota, they had 50 mile an hour winds and a foot and a half of snow piled up, leading, leading to whiteout blizzard conditions. That shut down many roads. And in fact, more than 650 accidents were reported statewide in the storm. Meanwhile, in Chicago, they can't buy a flake. It was 70 last week. They missed this one. They did have a few flakes today. If you look hard enough, you may see some snow in Chicago. Even a plow showed up, but it was not enough to keep them from breaking the record for the longest streak without snow at 280 days. Down south, the same storm system spawned twisters uh, this morning. Here in Birmingham, a confirmed EF1 tornado. Winds estimated at 90 miles an hour was on the ground for a mile. That took a roof off a home and damaged 20 others, along with several businesses and a church. Meanwhile, tonight back here in the Twin Cities, many are hoping for more of this in the coming months after a very warm winter last a year that only dropped 20 inches of snow. But tonight, it's the coldest night of the season ahead, Brian. Temperature right now 7, wind chill is 7 below 0, and we're heading down to 0 or below by early tomorrow morning. That sounds more like a Twin Cities winter. Mike Seidel in the Twin Cities for us tonight. <laughs> Mike, thanks.